it's cooler in here, so. Oh. They're under a heat advisory. Um, this hopefully will fix that problem. There's some weeds. Absolutely. Oh, you should I make a pile for her, but she looks like she's gonna eat with the, the geese today. So you open it up so the grots could come out. And they've been sharing a fence line out know, of the coop for quite a while now, so. <laughs> They're a little bit nervous about it, but oh, look at that. It's one of the Brahmas. Very excited to come out. Oh, yes, yes, I know, but I know. You're not too happy about this. Hey, you might be getting ready to molt. Okay. Oh, yeah, definitely. The bigger ones that I'm more worried about. You don't get to scare them away. No, 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 no. Oh, you're, gonna, you're no longer going to talk to me? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were going to talk to me. I take the camera out no more. You don't go talk to me anymore? No? Okay. Got some more, more things to help with the cloudiness, but it's doing, it's doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. I'm gonna come out here in a little bit. I'm gonna pick some of the flowers, checking on everything, see how it's all doing. Just have a heat advisory today, so I'm gonna check on water status, see if I need to water anything. But it all seems to be doing okay. I mean, a little wilted, but that's typical of it being really hot. So I'm here where that we planted the squash. All this stuff came up right in here, but nothing came up down here. So I'm not sure if it's, a, I can't remember what, I don't even know what varieties. I kept handing the kids, you know, seeds and told them to plant them. So only what, we have some weeds that are coming up in here too. That's yeah, like weeds there, weeds there. Those are not pumpkins. So I'm gonna come back and plant some more and try a couple of different varieties and see what comes up. Because then also I thought we planted over here. I'm only seeing weeds over here. Except for maybe one. Yeah, we have one right there. Everything else is weeds in here. Oh, look at all these weeds. Ugh. The corn is doing absolutely pitiful. I did weed in there. But as soon as I water, because I water this, they just grow right back. It's a struggle. I'm really excited. I just found another one in this thing right there. This one there. So there might be a few more that will come up here soon. Now that we just had a little bit of rain. And I'm still going to replant and pull out a whole bunch of weeds. Yeah, I got a tomato. Still have quite a few zucchini coming in. There's definitely one on that. I shouldn't say quite a few. Zucchini are definitely starting to slow down. But there's definitely one over there. Definitely two over here. I mean, you can't probably see them because of all the shadows, but they're there. Lots of summer squash still coming in. There's some over there. The melons are starting to do really good. Look at this one. There it is. Let me show you size wise. There go. It's like, ah, these leaves. Anyway, it's about the size of a softball. So, yeah, not too bad. And there's another one over here. It's a little bit, a little bit smaller. We're out there. And then we have some watermelons. If they, I thought I saw some watermelons. But they're itty bitty, so they may not actually. I don't see any. Oh, here it is. Here's the watermelon. There's the watermelon. 
and then that's some some other melon that one's not looking so good but there's a bunch of other melons around here there's a melon there I have to look in some of this foliage here see if there's anything in there there was I thought a watermelon on this one but not seeing it now oh here it is oh, it blends in so well So, yeah, pretty pleased with the melon patch so far. It's given us something, at least. And tomatoes are really close. It's just starting to turn. I keep seeing a bunch of these eaten, so I know there's a tomato hornworm somewhere, but I just can't find it. That or it's something eating them. Otherwise, I don't know, birds maybe? I see them periodically, so. And unfortunately, this one, a bunch of them have fallen down, but I'm afraid if I try and lift it up, it's actually going to break it. So we're just going to let them do their thing. So this is more uh, Romas. That's all Romas over there. A whole bunch of Romas here. And then we start going into the slicing tomatoes here. These are almost ripe. This was from over there. These are early girls. These over here are, are rainbow heirlooms, so they can be different colors. Um, so this one's obviously red. I'm hoping we get some yellows and oranges this year. This is a golden something, but these are our rainbow heirlooms. So we'll see what colors they turn out to be. And I am forcing myself not to walk over there because then I'm going to pick up, want to pick all of the cucumbers, and I don't have anything to put them in. I always do this to myself. I come out here like, oh, I'm just going to do something. I had to drop off some empty wheelbarrow so I could actually clean out the meat birds. And then I just got distracted. I knew it would happen, but I was, I was determined not to go start picking things. And I picked a tomato. I haven't shown the meat birds in a while, but this is their area cleaned out. Most of them are outside because I just just let them in. But it's cooler in here, so they'll all end up in here again. So there is a, a fan. There's a fan to help cool things off a little bit in here. So Julio is working in the other bay over there. And uh, um, got distracted there for a second. Uh, so because when we let the goats out, they want to get in anytime the, this is open. He set up a fence for himself to be able to work. So this fence is up for them. They're not out currently. I'm gonna be letting them out shortly. What are these things over here? Uh, those are, I think they were the generators from the uh, RVs that were here before. Oh. Um, the, uh, the goal was to get them running again, rebuild them. I don't know how, much work needs to be done on them. Mm. I don't know if it's salvageable either. Um, I see. This whole thing is like welded on here. It's, I think this was uh, this one was working, and um, they just moved this wagon around to use it. Interesting. And then what's that one over there? Uh, I think that's just a giant compressor that was being worked on. Oh. That was almost running, not quite exactly there. Okay. Now this is all wet. So where was this? Uh, that was all the stuff I had torn out of the house and we had nowhere to put it yet. Uh-huh. So it was in a pile here, so I just stacked it up on there. Uh, so where is it got, it's like somewhere leaking up there? Where well, you... there's, a, there's a hole right up here. Um, I assume there was a... Well, obviously this is where... Yeah. Like a stove here. Oh, yeah, okay, and there. And uh, vent it up yeah. there. Yep, yep. Um, so I guess... So, a lot of water. Uh, there's plenty of water coming in from there. A couple of small holes here and there because of old uh, old nails. Yeah. It's an older building. Needs a little TLC. Yeah, the wasp. Okay. I'm out of here. The wasps can live here. I'm going to leave. Okay, bye. Bye. Right. My drill press works now. Okay, cool. It's a little overkill for the small projects. <laughs> Yes, probably. You have a drill press. I do. That we brought with us, right? Yeah. yeah. 
It's like a quarter of that size. It's less than that. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna let these guys out again. I'd already had them out earlier, but all they wanted to do was just destroy things they didn't need to get into. So, I put them away. Now they want to come back out, so let's see if they can behave. Yeah, can you guys behave now? Oh, it's so hot. Hi, Rose. Hey, girl. Yeah. Alright, everyone walks with me. They went just hanging out with me. I don't know why. They're stage five clingers. That's what they are. And they're gonna go right on over and try and get in the barn. Reali or the pork shop part of the barn. Realize they can't get in. Because that's always what they want to do. Get in there. Hi, these two are hanging with me. Hi! So we're under a heat advisory. I feel so bad for all the animals that it's so hot. But specifically the chickens. They they really don't handle the heat as well. Poor things. They have shade, as you can see, but it's still still warm. Thankfully for a little breeze. Very grateful for a little breeze. There's a spot with the blue, um, hold on, no, no, over here. Thank you. 
Well, we've seen the rat, but we haven't seen the rat recently, thankfully. Why does it never go back the way, <laughs> the way it was, right? Just a few short weeks ago, I wasn't even sure I was going to get any cucumbers. But look, at my plants are really happy now. I'm doing good, despite my very funky setup. <laughs> uh, they don't care. And so many cucumbers. came to help because we couldn't get them off. And they're putting it in. Having neighbors that are willing to help is super, super huge blessing. Hey boys. This, this little guy was making a lot of noise. Right there. <laughs> so I can go to see what's up. I think he just wants out. I you know you do. You want to hang out with everybody. Almost everybody's over there. Not quite everybody. I forgot to lock up the, uh, the ducks, so the goats like to go in and see if there's any food in there for them. There isn't, but there was in the past. If there will be a little left over, but I've been not putting out as much, so they don't leave it behind. Hey, Shine. Hi, baby girl. That's quite the... Uh, Bit of inner tubes. I don't think that's really safe though to do it that way, Elena. I'm watching, I'm watching. Yeah, look at you underwater. Good job. <laughs> Great job. Never far away. Never far away. What do you what do you think I got for you? Go eat some grass. Are you going back in now, Justice? Justice, I'm closing it. I'm closing it. Come on out. Apparently they wanted to go back in. I don't know. They'll want out in like five seconds. I just went in there for a moment to shoo the goats out. You sure you don't want to come out? Come on. Come on. You're as bad as the goats. Come on. Let's go. Okay, they can't make up their mind, so, and I'm closing this. They go in, out, in, out. They're going to stay in until they're ready to come out. So, it was quite the morning. I got, thankfully I fed everybody early. But then the hay came and we couldn't get the hay off the flatbed because our tractors weren't working. It's okay, Marigold. She can't find Mama. Mama's on the other side. And mom's not responding. So all the water activities is a feel like temperature of 102 and real temperature of 90, but that's that's how much it is, and it's noon. Oh boy. It's a warm one. You gonna do it again, buddy? You went underwater a couple times. Yeah, was that fine? You are soaked. Look at him go. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> so we have blueberries and some other things, but mainly blueberries. And I made a smoothie. And I forgot to show what I was doing, but it's really good. The kids really liked it. So I decided to make it into popsicles. So we're gonna see how these do, see how the kids and I like them, and um, if that works out, that'll be great because we can't really uh, get popsicles here because of the distance, and I'm always forgetful about putting in a cooler in the truck or car when I go anywhere. So this hopefully will fix that problem. Okay, come on. Another tomato. Ooh, they're a little bit funky. Oh, 
I hear a, there she is. You see that? That's a hummingbird. Hi, beautiful. I'm gonna move out of the way. I want to go to the flowers. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So far, my pepper plants are starting to do really good. Got a couple bell peppers. I haven't checked all the bell pepper plants yet. Um, but yeah, there's some weeds, absolutely. But they're, they're looking good. Over here I have one, you can't see it because it's wilted at the very end, but that's that. I need to pick some flowers um, so I can bring them in the house. Potatoes are just about done. And so we'll be harvesting them eventually. Um, my herbs are getting overtaken by weeds, like horribly so. And the tomatoes, some of them are still nice and green, but they're just starting, the romas are just starting. I'm getting a couple here and there that are, oh, we got some squash bugs. Lovely. Bye-bye. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's going good. I'm out here really early this morning. Well, really early for me. I'm not usually out in the garden this early. I usually do it in the evenings. But I didn't get to it yesterday, and I really have to get out picking the squash specifically because I didn't get out here yesterday, and we have some ginormous zucchini. Like, really big zucchini. <laughs> I'm not sure if there's any others that are that big, but there's at least that one. So, hummingbird flew off. I'm going to pick what I can real quick, and... That'll be that for today. Oh, look at this. Humidity's got my hair going, doing some lovely things. <laughs> oh, boy. It's going to be it's gonna be extreme heat today. That's what they say. Oh, one more thing. So, really doing pretty decent good with the... Pretty decent good. Stacy, wow, words. It's doing decently good with the pumpkins I planted up here. But nothing germinated down there. I'm not sure if it's just... I honestly don't know because I don't know which ones were planted where. So I'm going to come back out with a whole bunch of seeds and just throw a few more in. Um, pull out some more weeds and try and get this patch going So before the you know weeds take over. I'll pick as much basil as I can today because it's going to all bolt. Sorry, trying. Hello, B. This is my cilantro. Figure I'll just fully try and save the seeds. That's coriander. So. Well, it's time to bring the harvest inside. A decent number of cucumbers. My slicing ones are looking a little bit funky. I'm assuming this is because of water issue. I ended up with another really big pepper, bell pepper, and obviously the tomatoes, the basil. So yeah, pretty excited. I'm gonna come back out and pick some, uh, some flowers and then I'll be done in the garden for today. That tomato plant, they snapped clear off and then I uh, rooted it in water and then potted it up took me forever to get it properly planted so it's it's struggling but it's here oh and so is my <sighs> my little friend over there all right I better go she wants to come and drink from my flowers I'm gonna take the ones that I picked have a jar of them over here and bring them inside and make a nice little arrangement by my windowsill What did the shoes ever do to you? You guys are just like determined. Mm -hmm. No, why? I don't have puppies that chew shoes. I have geese. 
I saw, but I can't wait to see. Where are you going? <laughs>